You've come to the right place to make a fighting you game. Win. Hi everyone, if you're a fighting game enthusiast and you adore the flashy Hadouken and super combos in Street Fighter, you've probably thought about making this kind of game more than once. When you turn to the internet to create your game, you realize that outside of the big studios, the big development teams like Capcom, Namco, Arc System Works, Team Ninja, there are few or no fighting games around. Many inexperienced developers start working on a fighting game, thinking it'll be easy and soon find themselves overwhelmed with more work than they ever imagined. This is where I decided to create this series of articles to give you some ideas. Let's take a look at what skills you need to make a fighting game. Also, don't forget to check out the videos I created on my YouTube channel to learn how to make a game. Let's look at the answers to some questions you should ask yourself before making a fighting game. First of all, will the game be 2D or 3D? It may seem like an easy question at first, but if you answer incorrectly, you may find yourself in your game heading towards a very unattainable goal before you even start your fighting game project. So, to help you make an informed decision, I'm going to show you some tips broken down into different categories. First of all, let's look at the question of which game engine should I use for my game. One of the first and most important questions to answer is which game engine to choose. When choosing a game engine, you will be faced with a lot of different options, so you should choose the one that is best for you. To create a good fighting game, no matter which engine you choose, you will need at least one person on your team who has a good grasp of basic programming logic. If you solve this issue, let me try to summarize what your choice might be in terms of the most popular game engines on the market. When we look at the game engines used, Unity is in the first place. Unity is a good engine for both 2D and 3D. It provides a nice user interface and some scripting tools. And Unity requires knowledge of C-sharp programming. It's user-friendly for users with no programming experience, but it's at its best when used by someone who knows the language. To help you make fighting games, you can also use the specially designed open-source Universal Fighting Engine plugin. Let's talk about another game engine, the Unreal Engine game engine. It is a game engine with huge content for creating 3D games, but the learning curve is steep. This engine uses C++, and so you probably need higher programming skills and dedication to achieve good results. Nevertheless, Tekken 7 was written with this engine. There are a lot of tutorials and videos about this engine that you can find around. But for fighting games, you may not find very specialized content easily. Still, the fact that Tekken 7 is coded with this engine means something. Another game engine I'm going to talk about is Mugen. It's the most famous 2D fighting game engine. Round one. Fight. It takes work and dedication, but it has a huge support community and plenty of examples you can use to test your game mechanics. To get a good idea of what can be done with it, take a look at the Blackheart. You can download the game engine from the link in the video description and get all the help you need from the official website. Let's talk about our next fighting game maker, EF12. It's like Mugen for 3D games, but it's not that easy to use and it doesn't have a big community support. A different game engine I recommend for making fighting games is Fighter Maker 2002. It's probably the most user-friendly 2D fighting game engine. But unfortunately, it's not very well known because it's exclusive to the Japanese and it's very hard to find on the internet. But it does have some limitations in that there are very few tutorials around and you can't extend the engine with scripts or code. But it is the best entry point in fighting game making. It's not as powerful as Mugen, 
but it helps you understand the basics of making a fighting game. And the last game engine I would recommend is Game Maker. But it is a multi-purpose engine, so if you want to turn it into a full-fledged fighting game engine, you will have to do most of it yourself. There are some nice Super Smash clones made with Game Maker, so it's definitely an option to consider. If you're not satisfied with any of these game engines, you have one last option, creating your own game engine. Creating your own game engine is not an easy task, but then you can have full control over the whole process. For this, you need a good knowledge of C++ and Ehrlich, a basic but powerful game engine. You have access to the entire codebase and can run it however you want. But it is definitely not ideal for beginners. In conclusion, you can definitely use Mugen or Fighter Maker to start grasping the basics of a 2D fighting game. If you want to make a 3D game, you need to keep in mind that your system requirements will increase and you will need more manpower. I hope you enjoyed the first part of this fighting game how-to video series. Don't forget to follow me and like my videos. Also, don't forget to check out the other videos on my channel. Goodbye.